Welcome. I'm Dr. Karen Curitan, and I am so glad that you found your way here. What you're going to learn in this video series may really surprise you. It might even sound unbelievable because up until this point, you've probably only been offered coping strategies for your anxiety and panic, like talk therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy and medication. But this approach is real and it works. I have used this approach to help my clients resolve years or in some cases, decades of chronic anxiety, um, as well as panic attacks and phobias. I have I also have firsthand experience of how effective this methodology is because I was one of those people. I had severe social and performance anxiety from the time I was a very young child until just a few years ago. And now I speak in front of groups of people every week. I also had chronic generalized anxiety that was my constant companion for over a decade of my life. And once I found and implemented this approach in full, I no longer have that chronic anxiety. It's not that I manage it. No, I just don't experience it anymore. And it is amazing. It's really hard to grasp, I think, you know, if you haven't been down this road, that this is not about coping. It's about teaching the brain to update the patterning that creates the anxiety, panic, and phobias. Using the latest neuroscience, you'll be able to safely and gently change the neural connections in your brain to the point where the old anxiety patterns cannot get triggered again because those pathways have been changed. And even though you may have been disappointed by other approaches in the past, we encourage you to keep an open mind. We were disappointed by other approaches too, and then we found this and it actually worked. This is an extremely safe process and you really have nothing to lose other than your own suffering. Um, and I know that most of us would love to lose all of our suffering, right? So we know that this is not the only concern you might be having. So let's talk about the other ones, you know, because we know people with anxiety tend to feel uncomfortable with the unknown. And we totally get that. We have been there. So let's talk about some of the other concerns you might be having. Another really big one that I want to address right out of the gate is the concern about having something physical that may be causing or contributing to your anxiety, like a hormone imbalance or a chronic infection or a toxic burden or gut dysbiosis or a nutrient deficiency. You're right. Those things can contribute to anxiety. However, we've also seen neural retraining be incredibly beneficial for people with those physical issues not only to dramatically improve and in some cases resolve their anxiety, but also the physical issue too. And so you might be thinking to yourself, what? How does that even make sense? It makes sense because chronic anxiety is a sign that you're in fight or flight too much of the time. And when you're in fight or flight too much, you can develop a lot of physical issues from that um, because you're autonomic nervous system, the one that is conveying that signal that you're not safe to your entire body is literally changing the way every part of your body functions. Um, and so, yeah, you like, as an example, you know, when you're in fight or flight, you can burn through nutrients too fast because they are needed in higher quantities when you're having an ongoing stress response. You know, you can have major blood sugar dysregulations because you are having a stress response and that can then contribute to or cause anxiety. You can have adrenal, sex hormone, and thyroid hormone imbalances from being in fight or flight too much. Fight or flight definitely also causes immune suppression, especially when it's chronic and excessive inflammation basically causes a TH1 to TH2 imbalance. So it becomes harder to fight infections and easier to develop autoimmunity and um, mass cell activation disorder and things like that, inflammatory conditions. Being in fight or flight 
for, you know, ongoing periods of time also inhibits our ability to digest our food and absorb nutrients and to detoxify. So pretty much all of the physical triggers for anxiety can be caused by nervous system dysregulation. Maybe not all, but almost all um, of the typical ones, the common ones um, can be caused by, or at the very least contributed to by nervous system dysregulation. We know that if somebody is in fight or flight, a lot of the time, without a doubt, we know this, it is impairing all of those major bodily functions um, and their ability to work optimally. So what we've seen is that in some cases, neural retraining is all that you need to heal from anxiety and the physical issues. Yes, it is that amazing. And other times you may need to support those physical issues, but in either case, neural retraining will be incredibly helpful to what you're going through. And so we're also going to be sharing inside this free anxiety course information about the many different types of physiological contributors to anxiety. And in the full Wired for Wellness program, we also go into more detail about how to address those issues from a functional medicine perspective, if you end up needing to, because we know sometimes that is something that has to be done. All right, so let's talk about some of your other worries that might be coming up around this. We know that as unwanted and uncomfortable as anxiety, panic, and phobias are, they are your body's attempt to try to keep you safe. Your anxious thoughts are part of your brain's attempt to try to keep you safe. So we invite you to notice any reactions you may be having to the things being said here. Of course, you don't have to do any of this right? This is just a free resource that's available to you. But if you're having some intense resistance come up to trying it, consider that your brain's habit of thinking, which is an anxious habit of thinking, might be getting in the way of you getting what you actually want, right? Getting that relief from those issues. So remember, anxiety is coming from your survival system, right? In the brain. And notice how these thoughts I'm about to bring up sound like survival alarm thoughts, right? So when you do think of addressing your anxiety in this course, do you think something to yourself like, what if this is dangerous? This is too much for me to handle right now. I just can't do it. This might work for other people, but it won't work for me. Who will I be without anxiety? Will it be safe to be without anxiety? I don't have time for this. I'm already uncomfortable. I'm getting body sensations of anxiety just thinking about this. How am I ever going to be able to actually do it? I'm too old. I've had anxiety too long. I'm too messed up. This won't work for me. This runs in my family or it's genetic. It's not possible to be without chronic anxiety, right? If you're noticing anything like this, can you hear how these are survival habits? They're alarm bells. They are your brain trying to protect you by steering you to keep everything the same. And because it thinks, hey, you've lived this long this way, so this is working to keep you alive. And that is your subconscious mind's sole purpose, its biggest purpose is to keep you alive. And so it thinks that, you know, if you keep doing what you've been doing, that that's going to be the reality for you, that you're going to stay alive. Um, But we all know that in order to stay alive, you don't have to be anxious, right? Um, Your brain, though, doesn't know that. But we can tell you that nothing you will hear or do during this course is remotely dangerous. It is so incredibly safe and you're in complete control the whole time. It may sound scary to some of you to be without anxiety, panic, or phobia. After all, they may have felt like a safety blanket for you, right? Something that was keeping you safe, or at least it felt like it was. And these 
issues, these feelings feel so familiar to you now, right? They're like your normal, even though that normal is really uncomfortable and inconvenient. So as you consider the idea that you could actually resolve the chronic anxiety you experience rather than just managing and resolve the phobias and panic, I want to invite you to consider this question. Who could you be without anxiety, without panic, without phobias? Mm -hmm. Maybe it feels so familiar to you that you have a hard time imagining anything else. And if that's the case, it's okay. You're definitely not an, alone. But give yourself permission to just imagine what might be possible, to just make it up. And if even that is, you know, bringing up a block inside you, you can try imagining what it would be like to be someone who feels at ease in their everyday life, right? Maybe someone you know who you admire that about them, you know? Um, I like to use my pets for that purpose because they always seem pretty relaxed and chill and happy and like they're just doing their own thing, you know, doing themselves. And um, so you can also trade places or pretend you're in the shoes of, you know, one of your pets and um, embody what it feels like to be them. So I want you to really try this. Close your eyes now. Give it a try. Just notice what comes up when you imagine how it would feel to be calm, relaxed, and peaceful in your everyday life. As you do this, notice how your body feels in that reality. Notice how your mind is operating differently, thinking different thoughts. Notice what you're doing differently in your life too. Has it improved your relationships or, you know, what you're doing for your career or your friendships or anything else? Another big one I think that does change for people is their health. How will this improve your health? I don't know about you, but some of the things that came up for me and that did actually change for me when I rewired this anxious habit of my brain was much better sleep and more energy to do the things that I love, right? Um, more ability or capacity to adventure and have more fun in life and definitely up-leveled relationships and career. So, you know, just because you may have been feeling this way, struggling with anxiety for a long time, maybe even your whole life, does not mean that you cannot feel something different. You can. It's also normal to fear change and the unknown because your subconscious thinks that by keeping everything the same, it is keeping you safe and alive. But we also know that change very often is very safe and there's nothing to fear on the other side of it. And in this case, the case where you are rewiring your brain to let go of anxiety, it's going to be one of the best changes you've ever made for yourself. I promise it will free you to be your best self in the world and to really enjoy all those little moments in your life that you can't enjoy when you're anxious because you're so stuck in your head and, you know, focused on the uncomfortable sensations in your body and all of that. So some of you out there may be thinking, is this like something I've tried already before? Is this going to be a waste of my time? So let's address that. This is very different from talk therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy, which can be great 
for helping you recognize and understand your thought patterns, feel and understand where your emotions are coming from, and look at your problems from a very different perspective. It can also be great for teaching you coping or management strategies for anxiety. Unfortunately, it cannot get to the root of the problem, um, you know, and therefore it's not equipped to actually resolve your chronic anxiety, panic attacks, or phobias. It can't get to the root of the problem because the root of it is in your subconscious mind, the part of your brain that thinking and talking doesn't have much impact on. The Wired for Wellness approach addresses the actual cause of the anxiety in the limbic system of your brain, the more primitive emotional part of your brain involved in your survival responses. Rewiring the neural connections in that part of the brain is what has to happen for the anxiety, panic attacks, or phobias to stop. And that's what we'll teach you to do here. And no, this is not meditation, yoga, or medication related. Those also do not resolve anxiety, panic attacks, or phobia. They just help you manage them. But you don't want to have to manage them for the rest of your life, right? Yeah. Neither did I. It's exhausting and frankly doesn't work very well. So we hope you'll join us and learn how you can finally be free to live a calm, happy life. That's what we want for you. In this course, you will, number one, learn how to stop chronic anxiety using neural retraining. Number two, learn how to resolve panic attacks and trigger-related anxiety with ease um, so that you never get triggered by those things again. And number three, the dangers of benzodiazepines, why you may want to avoid them, how to get off of them safely if you're already using them habitually, and how to address the underlying anxiety that led you to benzodiazepines in the first place, right? In addition, you'll also receive two guided brain training processes that will help you start to feel better right away. So to get the most out of this, please watch the educational videos when you're not distracted so you can, you know, retain the information. If you find it helpful, feel free to print the notes that go along with the panic attack educational video to help you assimilate that info better. Number three, please use the provided worksheets. They are designed to help you prepare for the guided processes so that you go get the most out of them. And number four, you know, listen to the guided processes and follow along with them when you can give them your undivided attention. They don't really work very well when you are multitasking. All right. We hope that you love this, these free resources and that they really start making a difference for you and your anxiety. All right. Sign up here and check your email to get started.